Hey there, Builder Blog. There's a 30 pound tournament next week in LA, and I'm gonna go. And here's my robot. Uh, oh, okay, here's the robot I am currently making. I got these sweet brushless motors and some wheels, some electronics. No, 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 no. I, I got you covered. Don't worry about it. How do you have me covered? Don't worry about it. When did you build a robot? Don't tell Ray. Don't tell Ray what? Don't tell Ray what? <laughs> All right, Zach, where's my robot? Where is it? Ray, can I keep it? No. How about now? Can I keep it now? No. Can I keep it now? No. Can I borrow it? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Miller Blog. So this event is called the Big Bot Brawl, and it's happening at the Scar HQ. I'm going to put the address right here. Pause while the address is here. Okay. It's happening uh, Saturday, March 8th. They have three divisions open. Uh, 30 pound, which I'm going to be competing in uh, with this brute. Sportsman 30 pound, which means no spinning weapons. Has to be some kind of hammer, lifter, flipper, crazy contraption. And a full combat 12 pound division. So registration is still open. If you'd like to get a robot in this, it's not too late. But it is like two weeks away. Also, um, if you want to come view, they're not charging uh, to come watch the tournament. I am told space will be a little bit tight. Uh, there is a registration fee of $20 per robot, and the prizes are homemade cookies, which I'm told are delicious. Nothing qu tastes quite as sweet as victory cookies. So, um, a big thanks to Daniel. He is hosting this event. Uh, Daniel, you guys have seen on the Builder Blog before. He's one of the hard workers on the Scorpios team. And uh, just like me in college, he's hosting his first robot tournament, and I want to do everything I can to support him. So if you have a 12-pound or a 30-pound, get down to L.A., get there on March 8th, and come fight a robot. Come fight me, bro. So, um, let's dig into this thing and see how much work is ahead of me. And uh, please like and subscribe so you don't miss this. I will be posting the full repair video of what I did, what I'm going to do to this thing. And I'm going to post the fights, or I'm going to post going to the tournament. So, uh, let's get going. So back when Ray was competing with this robot, he called it the deadliest thing, disinformation. And uh, since disinformation has his own title and record, I don't want to uh, smear Ray's. I am going to rebrand and rename this. And uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section if you have a name. But right now, my leading choice is I want to call it Drum Solo. Drum. And since I, I, once I use up all the spare parts fixing it, I will only have one of them. This definitely will be a drum solo. And I've also been enjoying the new TV show, Solo Leveling. So, it's on my mind. It's what I'm thinking about. Ray also told me to look out for this front edge. Apparently a horizontal has cut all the way through down to the shaft. And he, this is the reason he was going to retire this robot and not run it again. But I'm going to see if I can drill a hole and then put a wood screw all the way through this to try to keep this together for one more tournament. And then Scorpios has some spare size of this chain. It's 35 chain. I've got some spares in my servo I can go grab. Clearly won't use that hole or that hole. That hole looks usable. All right. We got some work to do, Builder Blog. Uh, he did tell me it was on fire last time I was at a tournament. Whew. Ray just likes his big motors and his big weapons. Um, I I wish I could describe to you guys the smell. There, this is 
It's like somebody set a fax machine on fire. It's the worst kind of melty plastic and uh, barbecue. So it looks like we are going to have to replace these motors. Ray was nice enough. He gave me a whole box of spare parts down here. So I have a lot of spare pieces, including spare drives and electronics. I have spare tires. I've even got a spare weapon motor. Um, I just need to find a battery and a new power switch. So this thing's cooked. But I, I have a spare one in the Scorpio's flamethrower. I'm going to replace all the cabling. I think I'm also going to replace this weapon mount. Mount that motor a little closer and see if I can push the uh, the wheels forward a bit. If you look at this, my one pound robot has a similar weight distribution and it doesn't drive that well. And Ray warned me this robot doesn't drive very well. But if I can put these wheels closer to where Minotaur has them, um, that should improve the driving of the robot. So let's see if we can do that. I was also told I need a new top plate. Can't can't tell why. But uh, I do want to say a very big thank you to Ray Billings. This was insanely nice of him. Uh, builders don't normally let other people borrow their robots, much less go compete with them. And so the little bit of maintenance I have to do here is a uh, a small price to pay to get to drive a robot made by Ray Billings. This does not seem like a fair exchange. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a... No, it isn't. <laughs>